Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Commander401 and we are going to be proving what Albert Einstein said was true. The only two things in the universe which are infinite are the universe itself and human stupidity. To that end, Allie and her mod team have collected a lot of stupid things Russian trolls have posted over at Ukraine Matters and Operator Starsky's channel into one juicy place full of the stupid on Discord. And we're going to be going over a lot of those comments. So, special thanks to Allie and her mod team, and let's go. And here's our first deplorable orc. She seems to think that she's a Christian, so let's see what this Russian troll had to say. By the way, we've severed its head. Thank you, Allie. I support handing Zelensky to Putin and telling him to do to Zelensky what Azov Nazis have done to Ukrainian Christians. Personally, I have read what Bolsheviks like Zelensky's ancestors have done to Ukrainian and Russian Christians, i.e. wrapping them around trees by their intestines. Wow, don't you sound like pretty Miss Churchgoer. You know what Vladimir Putin has done to Russian and Ukrainian Christians? Forced them to kill each other in the most horrible ways imaginable. Because of his ego and his desire to conquer and enslave peoples. Really Christian, right? So the question, is Vladimir Putin a Christian? Oh, hell no! Meet Shaman Gabashov. Ye in 2019, he led a little bit of a protest, marching from Yakutsk. He was going to go to Moscow. And he was stopped because he was going to lead an exorcism to exorcise the demon Putin from office. But Putin was afraid of this shaman here beating a drum, burning horse hair and other things, to exorcise him from power. That doesn't sound like a Christian to me. If you're afraid of the shaman here and his drum. Sounds like a lot of superstitious mumbo jumbo. Well, little Miss Sunshine here was talking about the horrors of the Bolsheviks. Here's some video from May 9th in Vladimir Putin's Moscow. This is the kind of thing Vladimir Putin encourages. That's Yeltsin, in retirement, reacting to Putin bringing back the Soviet National Anthem. And of course, there's a bit of resemblance to a certain somebody who was painted on a wall of a church in Italy about 400 years ago. So that's a thing. Now on to answering the next deplorable troll, and this was what someone posted on my channel. I'm a millennial and I agree with the Russian propaganda, apparently because the left is gross. <laughs> no dude, you know what's gross? Going on Alexander Solvyov's show and simping for Russia and trying to scare your countrymen into capitulating. I mean, for crying out loud, Solvyov wears CCCP sweaters and bemoans the death of the Soviet Union. What the f*** are you talking about? But again, all Russian trolls are basically incels. Here's my evidence. What's wrong with me? Why don't people like me? Why can't I get laid? 
I support the kleptocratic clowns in the Kremlin and their gargoyles, whose mercenary armies are named after Hitler's favorite composer, and the only people in the West who like me are incels, like Nick Fuentes and Marjorie Taylor Greene. I smell like feces, and the Ukrainians seem to be getting all the hot chicks right now. It has nothing to do with me. It's because of those damn liberals. I support kidnapping people and killing people for no damn good reason. Why won't any women sleep with me? And I would have gotten away with it too if not for that meddling NATO. Yeah, it does get that stupid. This is of course because the Russian troll incels are victims of the failed education mind virus. It causes people to be so goddamn stupid they're involuntarily celibate and incapable of reproducing. FEV, it really is a thing. Now, conspiracy theories abound with this lot as far as the trolls go, and sometimes the conspiracy theories come full circle. You know the Illuminati and the lizard people who influence the Western world big time? Question mark. It seems they are fed up with the Russians and since Russia is doing quite poorly, I'd better start supporting Ukraine more to be on the winning side and not anger the Illuminati so much. And next, you're going to not only be talking about the Illuminati and the lizard people, but you're going to be talking about the Jewish space penguins who outrank them all. Oh, shit! My cloaking device broke. Well, anybody, thanks for coming. See you next week. We'll have a new one with a lot more trolls that we're going to mock. So... Shalom, everybody.